I said, who's ready to have a good time tonight? All right, all right, all right, all right. My name is Michael Santanato, and I'm very proud to be your host for the evening here at Mo Mondays. So I went up to my father and said, Pop, Pop, I want to play drums. I want to play drums. Hey, what's the matter for you? You crazy? Get out of here, you crazy boy in a drummer. Get out of here. No, Pop, honest. I can do it. I want to play drums. I want to play drums. The drummer? My nature. The drummer, ba beam, ba boom, ba boom. Get out of here. You quit. My boy, she's a crazy boy. My boy's a crazy. Get out of here. I said, Pop, honest. I can play the drums. I want to play the drums. My nature. The drummer. You want to play the drummer? ba beam, ba bam, ba boom, ba boom. You make all the noise. You make me crazy, and then you go to quit. Get out of here, you crazy boy. I twirled like a Sufi until I threw up in buckets. I did pranayama until I cut off so much oxygen to my mind that I fell on the floor in hysterical fits of laughter. And then I just stopped. I just stopped. I didn't want to be mind and body anymore, or even body and mind. I just simply wanted to be mind, body, just one. I have to explain to her that I owe her a new carpet. And I'm looking at this thing, it's like a blue stain, it's a blue haze, it's a blue shadow, I'm thinking, shadow. I see this round black lamp, I move the lamp and the spot move with it. I said, oh my God, it's a shadow. I said, so I called John over, I go, John, 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 come here. He goes, oh, my God, it's a shadow. I go, I know. So we called the lady over, and I said, lady, oh, look at it, look at this. And she goes, oh, my God, it's a shadow. I go, it is. I said, but you know what the worst part is? She goes, what's the worst part? I said, the worst part is I spent an hour and a half cleaning a shadow. I said, do you have any idea what it feels like to spend an hour and a half cleaning a shadow? Do you have any idea? So when my husband left me with no a family in Canada with no emotional or financial support, I felt myself in the middle of the ocean with no swimming skills. I was scared. My body was trembling with that news that how would I make it? What would happen to me? So I was very, you know, I saw myself on a tough and rough road of life. And despite all that, deep inside, something told me, everything will be all right. We drove around the corner and we didn't even have to get to the end of the street. We could see the water. I mean, the water's so high, it's up to my thighs. People think it's funny. They take their canoes out and they actually, they like use their canoes and they go canoeing. So in the course of two and a half years, I went bankrupt, bought an investment property, had a flood, had a second flood, and I'm just thinking to myself, holy cow, man, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Fantastic. Have a safe drive home, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. That is our show. Been my pleasure. Thank you so much.